So here is the scene where Chishiro embraces Haku, who comes back covered with blood. In terms of how he functions in the structure of the story, he's designed as a bad boy figure, as seen from a girl. There's a scene where Haku tells Chihiro, I've always been watching you. When Chihiro asks, how do you know my name, he answers, I have known you since you were little. At the scene where Haku passes on the rice bowl to Chihiro, Haku can't remember his name. After all, his name has been taken away. That's why he says, I can't even remember my own name, but it's strange, I remember you. Again, most people just follow the spoken lines, and if we take the line as it is, Haku is the guardian god of a river called Kohaku River, who rescues Chihiro when she's about to drown there. So he knows her because of that incident. At least that's what the script says. He says, I knew you since you were a child. However, the line that says, I can't even remember my own name, but it's strange I remembered you, doesn't make much sense. For example, when Chihiro worries about Haku when he's injured, Kamaji says, it's love. He says, this is love, love. But this too is too unlikely for any of Miyazaki's previous anime. Even if the protagonists in his movies like each other, they usually don't express their feelings in such a straightforward way. So why is it different here? The strange scene where Chihiro remembers the past. It's toward the end of the story where she flies with Haku. It's a scene after they go to see Zeniba, ask her to forgive Haku, and now she flies in the sky on a white dragon, the incarnation of Haku. It is the biggest climax of the movie. There Chihiro suddenly remembers. A hand is stretching out into the water. But the thing is, the size of the splash here is too big for just a hand put in the water. We can also think that it's because Chihiro drops, but no. If it's after she drops, then there shouldn't be such a big splash of water before the hand goes in. It looks like a hand stretches out toward the splash, caused by something bigger. To make this clear, uh, let's look at the storyboard in this scene. You see the same cuts in the storyboard, but what I paid attention to is the instruction that says a child's hand stretches out quickly. It says a child's hand, and that's because they needed to distinguish it with Chihiro's hand. It's not her hand, it's somebody else's. But they didn't want to publicize whose hand it was. This scene is trying to depict how a hand stretches out for something large that has fallen into the water, but why a child hand, not Chihiro's hand? In the next scene, Chihiro remembers it. Now, please take a look at her shoulders. The color of the face and the shoulders is the same. This tells us that she's naked. The reason why Chihiro is naked in this scene is that when she's small, she falls into that river naked. Well, kids are often dressed only in underwears where they play in rivers. Just like that, Chihiro is half naked when she falls into that river. The child who is reaching the hand out is wearing a t-shirt. Isn't that weird? If that hand was Chihiro's hand, the situations would contradict, because she's at least not wearing anything on her upper body. The question is then, what is being depicted? There should be some child wearing a t-shirt who reached out to help Chihiro. And who's that? The main part of discussion in this part is to answer the question of who that is. When Chihiro says, how do you know my name, Haku says, I've known you since you were little. The reason why Haku knows Chihiro from a young age despite the fact that he can't even remember his own name is that he's Chihiro's dead brother. Chihiro did not float her shoes in the river. She fell in the river, her brother pulled her out to help her, but instead, he was swept out by the river and did not return. The scene shows how her brother became a god by sacrificing his life for someone else. Chihiro doesn't remember this. He says, I don't remember this, but I heard it from my mother. Even though she says she floated the shoes, she doesn't remember it at all. So, her mother didn't tell Chihiro that she had an older brother or he died because of her. She only told Chihiro that she almost drowned in a river when she was little. 
That's why she doesn't remember the incident, but Haku does. The reason why Haku says, it's strange that I remember you, and Kamuji affirms, it's the power of love, it's because it's fraternal love. Haku doesn't want to hurt Chihiro's feeling, so even if he remembers what happened, he won't say it, nor will Kamuji. Or maybe Haku himself doesn't remember the incident. In the movie, they say Kohaku River was filled up with earth and disappeared later. The expression implies death, because this idea of landfill is a metaphor for burial, funeral, or a corpse. But he still is not a perfect god, because Chihiro can see him. The real gods are only visible near Abraya at night after the lights are turned on. In the end, he does turn into a perfect god.